Welcome to a new episode of How To. My name is Armand and today our topic is how to generate the 2D mesh of your CAD model using DEP Meshworks. Meshworks philosophy is to be a tool that is saving significant time to the CAE engineers. This is the reason why everything has been developed to facilitate the manipulation, the creation and the modification of your model directly at the EFI level without the need of using a CAD. The usual workflow in Meshworks is to create a raw mesh very quickly and then in a second step to edit the mesh to obtain the desired output with desired mesh quality. From experience, working more at the EFI level and less at the CAD level is enabling to save significant time to CAE engineers in their daily workflows. We will see how to create a raw 2D mesh and the different ways to edit it will be explained in a future video. For all the tools we will be shown in this video, three types of mesh can be selected. It is possible to get a mesh made of trias, quads, or a mixture of both. The Mesher tool is the most commonly used to create interactively a 2D mesh. Several automatic meshing algorithms are available depending on the application cases. A detailed explanation of the tool can be found in the help tutorials in Meshworks or in our trainings. Don't hesitate to ask. As a very short description of the tool, you can click on the mesh type you want, tria, quad or mixed, the mesh size you want in the input settings, and select the surfaces you want to mesh by interactively clicking on it or using the selection button. To customize more the way your CAD surfaces are going to be meshed, you can import a template from the existing database of Meshworks. This database exists in the installation folder of your EXE. Or, you can use your own customized template you already have set using the Mesher Controls panel in the primary toolbar and defining the feature identification and meshing parameters. That's very easy to do. This template can be directly created by yourself or provided by us further your request with detailed specifications. The option Show Seed Points allows to display and manage the number of nodes by edges. We recommend to use the CAD fixed points and wire geometry visualization options in the secondary toolbar to facilitate the manipulation of the model during the meshing. If you want to directly interact with the number of seeds per edge, you can easily add nodes by clicking left on it or reducing the number of nodes by clicking right on it. In the same manner, the discretize undiscretize option is enabling to directly trim a CAD surface during the meshing as shown in the demo. Left click for discretize right click for undiscretize. The suppress and suppress option allows to deactivate existing CAD edges. As a consequence, the mesher isn't going to take into account these edges when generating the 2D mesh. No need to come back to the CAD to update your CAD surfaces. Everything can be done directly and interactively in the mesher tool. As you can see, an edge that isn't taken into account by the mesher is displayed in blue color. The color red is reserved for free edges, the color green for closed edges, and the yellow color for T-junction edges. For information, an automated mesh quality improvement tool is added to this panel. It can be used optionally. The Rule Mesh tool allows to generate a rule mesh between two CAD lines, 1D lines, two lines, or list of nodes. This tool has been historically developed far before the mesher. But even if now the Mesher tool is most commonly used, the Rule Mesh tool remains a very powerful tool. The element generation can be done in two ways. By setting the element size, the number of elements is adjusted accordingly. Or by setting the number of elements and the mesh size is adjusted accordingly. The Spline Mesh tool is a very powerful tool when solving issues in a EFI model. It enables to create a mesh from 1D elements, CAD curves, or nodes defined as external boundaries. In other words, if you have a hole somewhere, whatever its shape, the spline mesh tool will fill it with good quality mesh. And finally, the planar mesh on boundaries tool allows to create a mesh with external and internal boundaries. The boundaries can be of three types, 1D elements, CAD lines, or node lines. These mesh creation steps are important because they allow the mesh to be reworked in a second step to obtain the desired result. This is how the episode number three of our series concludes. DP Meshworks is a software developed by CA engineers for CA engineers. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us at email at 
dpeurope.com. We'll be happy to support you to solve your modeling problem as fast as possible. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.